Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to password protect an individual page or post inside of WordPress. And believe it or not, you don't need a special plugin to do this. It's actually built right into WordPress itself. So I'm going to get right into it and show you how it's done. We're going to hover over posts and then click on all posts. And from our post list, we pick anyone, click on edit. And then on the right hand side, in the publish meta box, we have an option called visibility. And within that option, currently this post is public, meaning it's published and accessible to the public. But if we click on edit, we have a bunch of other options. So there's public, which, are currently, which we currently have. There's a stick this post to the front page, which makes that post quote unquote sticky. So if you have a theme that supports um, sticking a post to the front page, this is an option that you could use and you can pass or protect a post. You can also make it private, which means it's only viewable to you or to admins. And you can pass or protect it, which means you add a password. So if we check the radio box beside password protect, a new box appears where we have to enter a password. And I'm gonna make this password very secure. I'm gonna make it one, two, three, four, five, six, and then click okay, and then click update. Once the post is updated, we can click on the view post link or button to see the protection in action. And you will see in the title of the post that WordPress inserts protected colon, and then the title of the post after that. And then for the content, it has this content is password protected. To view it, please enter your password below. So here we enter the password that we just added through the editor and we click on submit. Then once that password is accepted and it goes through, we have the post content visible, which is download rocking chair PDF now. That's the content of the post. And the same process works for making passwords for pages. And for each post and page you password protect, you can even use a unique password for every single one. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.